here at Le Grand Hotel Paris and we're in the club lounge which is again one of those exclusive clubs that even though you are staying at the hotel you still need to have a membership in order to get access to these lounges and I can completely see why this lounge is beyond fantastic uh, Yuru has club access lounge look at this isn't this like so regal and glamour? What you expect of an old Parisian hotel? And this view over here is just fantastic. I think that's the opera house or the music academy. Or I suppose the same thing. It's literally the opera house. Right there. <laughs> Oh my god. Home sweet home. Ah, ah, ah. And our luggage is already here. Oh, it's a nice place. This is a very nice place. Look at this bed. <gasps> no way! <gasps> oh, I can see the Eiffel Tower from right here! Yes. And this is the apartment that I want! Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Mm. Oh, it's so wow! What? What? This is like the best <laughs> surprise ever! Yeah! It's like a Degas painting. Dancers right above our bed. So now we're gonna head back up to the lounge uh, after our day of exploring and grab some food because we're starving. There's a little buffet up there. So we're gonna grab and just eat and then come back down and enjoy more of our New Year's Eve. La mer. On va danser. Le long. Here's the caviar, the tuna pata, the long golf. We're on the Champs Elysees for New Year's Eve, and apparently this is where the fireworks will be. Not at the Eiffel Tower, as a lot of people could bait for us, but uh, it seems pretty safe because we had to go through a security bag check just to get onto the street, and it's not as packed and crowded as we thought. And we're about half an hour away to midnight, so. <laughs> Excitement of all this food. Okay, watch, watch. 
Next we have here. Uh, we have from here. Oh, we have congee yeah. for Asians. Oh, like dim sum. Yo, I see there's dim sum here. Mm. Oh my god, I don't even know what to eat. There's all this. One noodles, one eggs, custom eggs. Alright, so you know what that is. And there's all of this. Look at how gorgeous this room is as well. Damn, we have this cool place setting right here with all of this. I know this sounds so overprivileged, but I've been eating so much salmon these past few days that I think I'm actually going to lay off the salmon this morning. So I know I just said I'm going to lay off the salmon, but I'm going to try this salmon because it looks really, really good. Ooh, orange banana, strawberry. It's not a barista. <laughs> Honestly, this is the best hotel I've ever stayed in. Guys, we're getting a personal private tour of this huge salon and our tour. Oh, she's turning on the lights right now for us. Wow, wow. Look at that state costume. Ooh, whoa. Let's have our wedding in here. <laughs> it really looks like something out of a movie or Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Balbin House, Olivier Rostin. It's in the creation of the house Balbin. Oh, wow. They do the runway all the time here yeah, during yeah. fashion week. And uh, it was inspired by the Hall of Mirrors in Versailles. Oh, yes. Versus yeah. the Opera. Was built, we were built at the same time at the Opera Garnier. So, yeah. Um, that's why. Everything here is from 1862. Nothing yeah. has been touched. Oh, wow. And so there was one guy sitting on the top, <laughs> watching it 24-7 during the work. And then when it was over, we put it in to make sure it was going to happen again. Yeah. So everything you see, um, the plaster that was here, mm -hmm. is from the Gustave Gustav Eiffel design. Big idea. I'm going to surprise you with getting some.
Mm. So we just got back to our room and it's all fluffed up and wow. new again. Okay, so I changed back into my bathroom and it's just been such a lovely, beautiful morning for New Year's. Bye. It's Paris in the rain. You can smell the rain, the fresh rain. You can see it. You still see the FM Tower in the distance. I can't ask for anything more uh, except for one thing. I'm gonna do the classic bed bounce test. Let's see how this bed. It's amazing. <laughs> Lame. Lame.